So let's talk about CPU memory first. Uh, what not to do, and we see this all the time, or frequently, I shouldn't say all the time, but frequently is, you know, people install SQL Server and they leave uh, a lot of the memory options the default, right? You don't want to do that. Uh, what you want to do is just adjust your memory based on workloads. And there's five that I, there's five of these that I really want to focus want to focus on, right? Um, the first one is max memory, and we see this frequently. Um, people will either not uh, configure max max memory, or they'll configure it incorrectly, right? Uh, max memory, really what that does is that sets the upper bound for the memory used in the buffer pool, right? It basically says, Here my, here's how much, uh, it guarantees the OS and other applications that don't take the memory, right? So basically saying SQL Server, you can have this amount of memory and nothing more because we want to leave the rest of the amount of the, the memory for the OS and other services, right? So if you say, if, you're, if your machine has 128 gig of RAM and you tell SQL you get 100 gig, SQL will only use that 100 gig, right? Well, if you accept the, the max memory, which is telling SQL Server you can use it all, it will use it all, right? You don't want to do that because memory, SQL Server is a memory hog. It likes to take memory and it, 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 it likes more not to give it back. So <laughs> when you don't accept max, you know, so basically set max memory and we'll show you kind of how to best practices and how to on how to do that. Uh, <clears throat> along with that is lock pages in memory, right? Uh, this is a Windows policy that determines which accounts can use a process to keep data in the uh, in physical memory instead of basically paging that to disk, that data to disk. OK, so one of the one of the things you want to do is since uh, is you, you want to add the SQL Server service account to this lock pages in memory uh, user policy or uh, a Windows policy, right? Because that tells that uh, that tells Windows that, hey, this SQL Server account can um, keep data in the phys physical memory, right? So that's you definitely want to do that. Well, along with that is we um, is this uh, another uh, SP configure setting called optimize for ad hoc workloads, right? And this basically just improves efficiency of the plan cache for ad hoc query workloads. Definitely want to turn that on. Okay. Uh, the other two that we see misconfigured a lot is cost threshold of parallelism. Uh, every query has a cost. <clears throat> right, and so what this uh, setting does, it specifies the threshold. It tells SQL Server <clears throat> and sets the threshold uh, with uh, at which SQL Server can create and run parallel plans for queries. Right, so when SQL Server runs and, and creates and runs parallel plans for a query, when the estimated cost is above that specification, that value that you specify. Right, um, so you know, but I think default is five. And a lot of times th that's just uh, low. 99% of the time, the just the, the the default of these values are always wrong, right? So when you execute a query, it'll say, "Hey, this query has this cost," right? And you can see that in the in the query window, it'll say, "Hey, this query has this cost," right? So when uh, SQL Server looks at that, it looks at that cost and says, "Well, if if it's um, above that cost, hey, go and parallelize that query, right? If if it's below that, don't do that, right?" So uh, I can't remember the maximum value. I think the maximum value is like super high, right? So uh, you definitely want to change that. Uh, and then the other one is max degree of parallelism, right? And that that is tied to the hip uh, with um, uh, cost threshold of parallelism, right? So that essentially says it uh, when a when the cost threshold of parallelism, when the SQL Server says, "Hey, I want to parallelize this query," it looks at max stop and says, "All right." Well, how many processors can I use to parallelize this query, right? So that's the max degree. So it's all based on the number of logical processes that you have on your system, right? Right. But those are tied hand to hand, right? So the cost threshold of parallelism says, you know, at, at the queries above this cost, go ahead and parallelize that query. And then SQL Server says, all right, well, if I even going to parallelize that query, how many processors can I use to parallelize that query, right? So those two go hand in hand. The question is, and there's a ton of information out there on the internet about this. It's like, well, how do I know what uh, what to set these to, right? And I'm going to say the best tool uh, out there 
that we, that we use internally is this is these uh, PowerShell commandlets called DBA tools, right? And they have these two commands. So I'm going to demo those right now. It's called test DBA max memory and test DBA max uh, max degree of parallelism, right? They don't have a max uh, C top because I really you really don't need one because it's just a processor, right? Based on the number of processors, so that's fine. This is a great because a lot of questions. Well, how do I know what to, where to begin? How do I know what to set these to? And this is a great way to demo these and to say or, or to know where to start, right? And I want to say, right? Uh, let me caveat these by by say the information that these give give back. It's not like here's a hard fast. Yep, yeah, this is what you definitely need to set these to. But they are a great starting point, right? It, this is not a set and forget with any of these. This is a set and monitor and then tweak based on your workload, right? And the same thing with uh, cost threshold of parallelism. There's a bunch of documentation out there and, and a lot of documentation on many of these. At SSG, we like to set cost threshold of parallelism at, to 75, right? There's a lot of information that like some like to set it at 50, you know, whatever. Um, we like to start at 75 and then monitor because like I said, this is not a set and forget. This is a 100% set and monitor. This is a great because a lot of questions. Well, how do I know what to, where to begin? How do I know what to set these to? And this is a great way to demo these and to say or, or to know where to start, right? And I want to say, right? Uh, let me caveat these by by say the information that these give give back. It's not like here's a hard fast. Yep, yeah, this is what you definitely need to set these to. But they are a great starting point, right? It, this is not a set and forget with any of these. This is a set and monitor and then tweak based on your workload, right? And the same thing with uh, cost threshold of parallelism. There's a bunch of documentation out there and, and a lot of documentation on many of these. At SSG, we like to set cost threshold of parallelism at, to 75, right? There's a lot of information that like some like to set it at 50, you know, whatever. Um, we like to start at 75 and then monitor because like I said, this is not a set and forget. This is a 100% set and monitor, right? Uh, and you, then you tweak based on your workload and you, you tweak based on, well, can I improve performance by maybe setting cost threshold of parallelism or sorry, yeah, cost of lower or higher or things like that, right? So, all right. So here's uh, on my system, I've got, here's my max memory. It's still set at the max. Uh, cost threshold of parallelism is set to five. Max theory is set to 12. And I don't have ad hoc query, right? That, and that's fine. I'll, you know. So, and the reason is because now I'm going to go use uh, DBA tools, and it's super simple. Um, I've already got it installed. Bas basically, install, whoop, install module DBA tools, right? Boom, and it installs it. Once you install it, then you import it. I've already imported it. Uh, but now what I want to do is uh, use these. So I'm going to test my max memory on this. So I'm going to go back here and let's test my max memory. And what it does is uh, it goes and looks at, okay, what services you're running, how many instances are, are you running? And based on that calculation says, well, here's what we think, or here's what we recommend you set the max memory to. So it says, all right, well, I have uh, 36, basically 32 gig of RAM. You're currently set and telling SQL Server to take it all, but we recommend that you you set your max memory to basically 25 gig, right? So what I would do at that point is go, all right, well, you know, uh, and it takes a number of things into consideration. Like I said, you know, how many instances you have, what other services are you running? Are you running SSIS, SSAS, SSRS on that box, right? Um, and you may look at that and go, well, I have other services, but that might be a good starting point. So I'm going to go set my max memory to that, right? Or I may say, well, you know, I don't have others, but that's a good starting point. So let me go set my max memory to that, right? And then there's one called, there is one called set uh, DBA max mem or E, right? And I'll set it to whatever, right? So I can use the Pat DBA tools to do that, right? So I would highly recommend you that because it, this, it, it takes a lot of the guessing uh out of out of it but again it's not a set and forget it's a set and monitor the other one is uh text test uh dba max dot right and this gives you a bunch of information which i really love it says <clears throat> it gives you at the instance level and then gives you at the database level so it says 
you know, your not the database, this is the instance. You're currently set at 12. Uh, we recommend you send that to eight based on the number of processors that you have, right? Boom, done. All right. All right. So before changing max stop, you know, you might want to consider the higher value. You know, did I change that intentionally? Well, yeah, obviously, because the default is not 12, right? But then, then it gives you the uh, what you you know the the um, uh, the the database you know information right. But this is a great way to go. Uh, hey, here's what you think we think you should set it at. So this uh, these are two. So one huge fans of DBA tools, right? And prior to SSG, I wasn't a a, a PowerShell guy, but you know I, I've been convinced, seeing the error of my ways, we'll say love dba tools because it takes a lot of the guesswork out makes things super easy but in in this case it takes a lot of the guesswork out as to what should my starting points be right give or take right but again can't stress enough this is not a set and forget it's a set and monitor right and like randy says right you want to go look in in query store because that's why we covered it right you go look in query store and say all right well what queries are still running long you know did what queries went parallel what what didn't go parallel what should and you look at those kind of things, right? <clears throat> but again, you know, we see this a lot. They either forget to set, you know, they either set it wrong, they set it wrong, or don't set it at all. And this has a huge impact on uh, on the on your performance.